You ever wonder how Vladimir Putin got to where he is today? He's been ruling Russia for 20 years, and some say his ability to stay in power is mainly due to a carefully crafted public image. Here's CNN's Nathan Hodge with a look at Putin's rise from Russian spy to Russian leader. It was the question on everyone's mind at the World Economic Forum in Davos in 2000. Who is Mr. Putin? <laughs> at the time, the world knew little about Vladimir Putin, the man who had unexpectedly become president on New Year's Eve 1999. Putin had already drawn international attention as former President Boris Yeltsin's prime minister with his tough talk on fighting domestic terrorists. But little was known about the man or his closely guarded personal life. Putin, a Leningrad native, entered politics after a career in the KGB, the feared Soviet secret police. He worked as a spy in East Germany before the fall of the Berlin Wall. His first appearances on the international stage were not polished. In an early interview with CNN's Larry King, the new president almost seemed to smirk when asked about the tragic sinking of the Kursk, a Russian military submarine. You tell me, what happened with the submarine? It sunk. The Kremlin PR machine, however, was intent on remaking him. State television portrayed him as a powerful leader, showing him in tightly scripted appearances as Russia's commander-in-chief and as a figure on the world stage. Putin's image was carefully molded to portray him as the leader of a resurgent country that had risen from its knees after the humiliating collapse of the Soviet Union and its loss of superpower status. And Putin's public image had no room for vulnerability. The Kremlin leader is portrayed in a range of guises, as a man's man, as a defender of animals, and above all, as an almost sentimental patriot. His tough authoritarian image was even envied by other aspiring leaders. In 2013, Donald Trump wondered if Putin would become his, quote, best friend. To many Russians, Putin has become the embodiment of Russia's national prestige. But the question remains, what comes after him after two decades in power? As thousands took to the streets in Moscow in late July to call for free and fair elections, Putin was heading to the bottom of the sea in a submersible. That, for some critics, was a symbol of a powerful leader out of touch with his people. Nathan Hodge, CNN, Moscow.